In this video, we're gonna talk about seven of Maya scripts from Wizix, and they vary from hard surface decals, cable tools, Legos, viewport shaders, and more. We're gonna start with the cable script. It is a tool that simplifies cable creation and manipulation inside Maya. It provides easier access to four different ways of creating a curve, including the classic, Bezier, pen, and edge selection methods. It basically allows you to create cables from any selected curves with one click, and with that, a bunch of adjusted settings you can play around with, such as changing the width, the density, the smoothing, or even the twist. With the latest version, you get some curve presets that you can use directly in addition to more advanced parameters for changing the look of your cable with more precision. As the cables created are strokes, you can modify their actual geometry. That's why the cable script will bake your cable into a mesh, allowing you to edit it with some modeling and by keeping the curve adjustment possible. It also comes with some cable materials with displacements as well. The script also allows you to quickly add simple dynamics to your cables and quickly get the cable shape interacting with the outer colliders, also with its own set of parameters for adjusting the physics of the simulation. Now talking about hard surface modeling, we have a script that is called Modit. It is a modeling script that provides very simple but useful tools for helping you during the hard surface modeling process in particular. Its interface is divided into seven drop-down sections, where the first one provides quick access to the default primitives, allowing you to add them in the position of the selected object or faces. The second one is a set of tools that includes camera hiding, object mirroring, heart edge selection, local pivot creation, subdivision, and UV unwrapping and visualization. The third one is for coloring, to put color guides when working with complex models. The fourth section contains multiple selection tools and a selection saving feature. The fifth one has a smart transform and dynamic duplication, in addition to a changing tool and a button to bake the chain curve into a mesh. The sixth one is titled Arnold as it features Arnold multiple mesh subdivision, as well as automatic sanding and depth of field focus. And finally, the last selection contains a pack of screws and bolts that you can add directly to the selected faces of your objects with one click. Next, we're gonna talk about Plugit, which is an asset library of pre-made plugs that you can implement in your hard surface models to add more details to your actual geometry. The library contains a variety of inserts of multiple dimensions. The dimensions indicate how many phases are needed for the plug to work correctly. What's great about this script is that, from version 2, we can expand the library with our own plugs that we can create beforehand, with a full video explaining how to do that in detail and showing you even how to render out the thumbnails of the plugs with a smooth resolution. This plugin is very convenient when it comes to adding clean details quickly to your hard surface models as it relies on a very efficient workflow of an asset library. There is also a very similar one to plug it, which is called Stamp It. It is a script that also helps you detail your hard surface models in just few clicks. It is an asset library full of hard surface decals, which unlike the plug it script, rely on texture displacement rather than changing the actual geometry, making Stamp It a non-destructible workaround for adding details. You'll be able to move, rotate, or scale the stamps within the frame of faces you have selected. You can adjust the strength of the effect or even go with the negative value in case you want the effect inverted. As it works with texture projection, it needs enough geometry so that it looks good, which means sometimes you will need to set a high level of subdivision for rendering. Also, you need to note that as a limitation, you can apply more than 8 stamps in one mesh. Also, just like Plugit, you can expand your library with custom stamps just by importing the height map in TIFF format and its thumbnail as an icon. Furthermore, we have a script that is called Bricket, which is a very fun script that literally provides you with a huge box of Legos from numerous categories and materials, along with useful functionality that will allow you to play and make Lego creations as if you were in real life. It is a large asset library organized into multiple Lego pieces categories such as bricks, plates, windows, etc. Each Lego has its own anchor points, placed carefully in the right spots so that the snapping system will match the pieces together perfectly. The developer's main goal with this one is to deliver the same experience of playing with Legos the same way you can do it in real life. The good thing is, pieces are added in each update, 
and user's request are taken into account, which means if you want a specific logo piece and you want them to be added to the library, you can post to Wizix Discord. Next, there is a powerful scattering script called Envit, which is based on Autodesk's new node-based framework called Bifrost. The script makes it much easier to scatter assets around than manually doing it using Bifrost graph directly. Its workflow relies on layering system for each ground mesh, where each layer is a listed group of assets that you can add, remove, edit, and more. You can actually apply a bunch of effects for each layer, including distribution masks, clumps, transforms, and color variation. For example, using the Paint Mask tool, you can paint over the ground exactly where you want your assets to be, similar to what you can find in Unreal Engine's foliage system. You can even use a texture map for that, where the white values mean max density and black values mean zero density. One other great toolset that can be very useful in multiple cases is the ability to add or subtract scattered areas based on objects' proximity, elevation, and even face orientation. Now, with the next one that was previously called Shaded, Viewported is a script for real-time Maya viewport shading. It offers a variety of detailed materials as well as some useful tools to make things easier when it comes to enhancing your viewport preview of your models. In a short period of time, you can set a light rig, a transparent shadow catcher, a UV checker, quick access to the shader editor, etc. There are four categories of materials available including metals, plastics, glass, and specials. And it is also possible to create and save custom materials. The naming has been changed for this script because people got confused and thought that the script was a material library for rendering, which is not the case at all. It is for Maya Viewport 2.0 only. As a result of this naming problem, Wizix made a whole new script called Shaded, and this time it is a script dedicated to Arnold Render Engine for Maya. It is a library of procedural materials, fully customizable, and each material type has its own properties with adjustable sliders. As everything is procedural, you can apply them without needing to UV unwrap your models. This script helps you customize the materials by adding very realistic details such as rust, dust, edge wear, scratches, damage, peeling paint, etc. If you are interested in these tools, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us some feedback. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.